God bless you, friends. Thank you for joining me on this morning on Morning Nuggets. This is yours truly, Pastor Nate. I pray that this video finds you exceptionally well on this Tuesday morning. We have another situation where a black man was stopped by some cops and was just mistreated. I mean, like a dog. In fact, animals are treated better than the cops treated this man. I want you to take a look at this video and I'm going to provide my commentary on it. So just be warned, it's very disturbing. Take a listen. What's going on? How many occupants are in your vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? The door slowly and step out. Get out. Get, on. Get, Get out like the car. You. Get out now. I have not committed any crime. Army 2nd Lieutenant Caron Nazario, still in his uniform, hands holds his hands, hands out the hands window of his new car, while two hands. Windsor, Virginia Get police hands. officers, guns drawn, order him to get out. I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you, you should be. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, get please. Of get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. I didn't do anything. Don't do that. Sir. Before ex-officer Joe Gutierrez pepper sprays him through the open window. Sir, just get out the car. I'm trying to breathe. Ugh. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking right get now. Get out of the car. Nazario is then kicked forced to the ground and put in handcuffs. Why am I being treated like this? Why? You're not cooperating. Yes, friend. Now, first of all, the Bible says in Proverbs 4 and 5, it says, get wisdom, get understanding. Friend, when we're dealing with these situations, I didn't see where he did anything. When I did research, uh, he was stopped because his tags weren't being displayed on his vehicle. But when they reviewed the police body camera, they saw the temporary tags being displayed in the window. So that stop was unnecessary. But when they stopped him, you see how they mistreated him and he didn't commit a crime. In fact, he's suing the Windsor Police Department. That's good. He needs to sue the, oh my gosh. Anyways, it was very disturbing. But let's go back to the wisdom part. Okay, even though you didn't do anything wrong, but brother, you still have to comply. Because the, at the end of the day, we're trying to keep you alive. Cops are killing people nowadays. You don't even have to do anything wrong for them to kill you. They are taking our lives. So when you're in a situation like this, just go ahead and comply. And we can do the retaliation, all that other stuff later, go through the proper channels to complain and, you know, get them fired or whatever. But at that time, they have the power. And of course, they will abuse their power. We've seen them abuse their power on many occasions. I understand our rights. I do understand that. But at that time, let's just go ahead and get through the process so we can come out unharmed and we can come out alive. And then we'll go ahead and fight like we need to fight. Friends, parents, please tell your young black men, Get, you know, look, impart wisdom. We are losing too many of our black men to situations like this. You saw them pepper spray the man. Of course, the man did resist. He didn't get out the car. He didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, he should have gotten out. And you saw when he got out the car, the cops started kicking him. Very inhumane, very unnecessary ridiculous. The devil comes to kill, steal, and to, to destroy. And the devil is in our government. It's in our police department. And the devil is abusing its power because he's literally trying to take you out. Friend, we got to be ahead of him. When we resist the cops during that time and moment, it's going to be a losing battle, right? You got two or three cops there standing there with guns and pepper spray. What can you do? So go ahead and comply so that we can save ourselves. Friend, pray for your police department. Pray for your government. Pray for our young black men and women, our black race, period, so that we can survive these things like this. Talk to your young men to handle situations like this. We need to bring more awareness because I believe more of these situations are coming more and more and more. And our black men are being targeted. And as I was doing research, you know, they stopped him because they say his tags weren't being displayed. But later on, they found the tags. So that was an oversight on the police department's uh, part. And 
they also stopped him because his windows were tinted. He had dark windows, so they stopped him for that. I guess you can only go so dark, but you know, maybe that's a well, that's how they profile. So yes, we're being marginalized, we're being profiled, we're being stereotyped, so the odds are against us. So when we do have these stops, uh, let's go ahead and comply so we can get through the process unharmed and alive. Friend, remember tonight on the Smart Show, come and meet me at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll see you then. In the meantime, be at peace and not in pieces.